Hello. So I want to go over two quick things in this video. First off, uh, yesterday I did a video about a Snap2 script, this Snapper script here, which uh, allows you to move these things according to a specific level of chunkiness. And <clears throat> some of you may or may not be aware, but Unity actually has a built-in Snap settings, but it's very misnamed. It's not actually snapping to anything. So if I were to turn off the Snap script, and then I can move it, see how it slides now? If I hold control, it'll snap. And I've got the two set to the same variables. So now when I'm moving this, it's moving according to the same. There's no difference between the snapper script being on and it being off and holding control. Except there is actually one major difference, and that is that if you move the room and then you hold down control, it doesn't snap to the grid. It just moves in that chunkiness. Uh, so it doesn't line up the rooms. It just, once the rooms are misaligned, it makes sure to keep them misaligned. So this is actually a snap to script, whereas this is a move by X script. <coughs> and of course, the other problem is that when you're putting a room in, I, oop, that's the lamp, not a room. When you're putting a room in, I need it to actually snap right here. And Unity doesn't have any snap capabilities built into a room that is this, a prefab that is just being deployed. You can't use the snap functionality until it's actually in the scene. And of course the snapper script allows you to specify different grains of snapping on every kind of object. Um, so if you're wondering why I didn't go over it last time, that's why. Now there is vertex mapping and a whole bunch of other stuff, and that stuff's very cool, but it doesn't work in this situation. Uh, there are a lot of situations where it doesn't work, so that's that. Um, now in terms of what I wanted to show you, I actually went ahead and made these rooms editable by simply clicking on the doorways. So I've just gone and created some doors here. And we can see through them. And if I were to click again, I can turn it back into a bookshelf. And of course if I hit play, I can just wander around inside of this little thing I've created. Oh! I turned it into a bookshelf on accident. For now I can jump over the top. So. Uh, creating this sort of editing is really quite neat. Currently I am using the uh, um, the editor scripts, these guys, and I'm really abusing the hell out of them. Uh, but it's a lot of fun, and it just goes to show you the sort of intuitiveness you can create by doing this. The only thing you have to be aware of is um, you want to be able to lock these rooms, and I don't currently have the ability to lock them other than just turning them off. If you turn a room off, then it no longer reacts. Um, and that's the current way I'm doing locking, but you should probably have an actual lock, and I'm going to do that by merging all of the walls into one mesh to save on computation in runtime. Anyhow, that's it.